everyone so i am getting ready to film at the pilates studio i rented to get in some content for tiktok i'm like super excited about this pilates content honestly ever since i completely switched to pilates inspired upper body it's been giving me really great results i just turned up the brightness a little bit so it should be a little better i'm doing my makeup so that i can look nice and refreshed right after today on saturday actually i'm gonna be filming in a gym i also rented i don't really like people to show up in the background of my videos i find it uncomfortable i'm sure they would find it uncomfortable renting something out would allow me to speak freely without worrying about like okay whose face is showing in the background oh my god i just love how rare beauty is so pigmented lately my content has been super lower body heavy but now that i've been more open with my upper body routine and body shapes and you know not wanting to bulk up your body i find that it's really important for me to be transparent with my upper body content and what i do thankfully i found a studio within like a day literally i've had this free time such last minute ever since i get a good feeling about creating content and a concept that i have i've always made sure to follow through with it because if you have a good feeling in your stomach then it most likely means that that content is really 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 good for you to make it doesn't always guarantee that it's going to go viral but that doesn't really matter what matters is that you are proud of what you created and what you made this pilates series is going to be how to incorporate all of the pilates upper body movement into the gym already so you're at the cable machine you're going to incorporate lots of different pilates arm movements that can help you build a muscle but i feel like it's a little more effective in terms of toning as opposed to building muscle and i made a tiktok the other day explaining the difference essentially they both mean the same thing but we interpret it differently so when you tone you're building muscle without the intent of growing because you're losing fat and building muscle but you're not really growing the muscle you're not tearing and repairing you're just kind of you're building endurance a little bit you're building strength a little bit but it's not complete optimal hypertrophy some gloss on there let me show you the fit this is what i'm wearing and i'm just wearing this cute vest that i got from amazon i'm gonna be on my way now and then i'll start recording once i'm there okay we are here in the pilates studio i'm gonna put her information down right here on where i booked her in pure space she's absolutely lovely but here is the entire space i'm super excited to start and show you guys my pilates moves so we're gonna get started um this is a classical pilates machine very different from the ones that i'm used to so the ones that i'm used to have more modern reformer pilates this one has all the same weights over here as you can see and the straps are leather as opposed to cables but essentially they're kind of the same movements so we're gonna get started so i'm gonna prop you guys up so you guys can see the whole setup and kind of me filming all right so we are getting started and you guys it was a little hard to navigate the classical pilates machine but i got the hang of it pretty quickly and i had such a good time filming and going back and forth and it was just so fun um it got hot super quick so here's me like setting up the fan um so grateful that was there but i did all variations of all the arm movements that i've learned that i'm still learning so this isn't all that i have to show you guys and of course i took a phone break because you know i'm addicted to my phone um but I switched the location and I played around with the camera and the ring light that she provided. And I did some ab workouts, as you can see here. Y'all, my I was actually shaking. I was shaking. I just couldn't take it anymore. Um, but again, here's me just moving it around and seeing what other position I can show you guys and the angles. Y'all, this last ab workout absolutely kills me. It's my favorite Pilates ab workout with the ball. Um, but here's me showing you guys and I just, I just had to stop. <laughs> it was a lot, but yeah. Here's me doing another Pilates ab movement and then I did a little bit of triceps just because I wanted to and then I set everything okay. back up. 
Okay, we are basically done with filming. I had such a good time. So stay tuned for the little videos that I'm gonna put out on TikTok. It's gonna be an entire series, but I just wanted to bring you guys with me on filming the whole thing. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Okay, we are back home. I ate my meal in the car and Brandon, my boyfriend, is eating his meal now. For now, we're just gonna chill enjoy our beautiful view Bye. my boyfriend needed to use the bathroom so i moved over here and we are in a time crunch so we literally have to leave in five minutes but i have everything packed everything's okay so what i'm planning to film is going to be pretty straightforward honestly i'm going to be filming a bunch of different tutorials and they're basically going to coincide with the pilates videos that i filmed and I'm gonna explain what each Pilates movement works, like the muscles, and how to mimic those same workouts on the cable machine. Because essentially, you can create the same range of motion. It's not humid outside, so my hair is safe. Oh my god, the sun is coming in. I already know it's gonna be such a nice day outside. A little bit cloudy, but you know what? That's okay. So when I get there, I'm gonna turn on the camera and bring you guys through the whole behind the scenes and kind of me talking through it. We are here at the space. I'm super excited to start. We had a little bit of trouble coming in, but there were like five lock boxes. So, but let me give a quick tour. We're not gonna be using the entire gym, just the cable section, obviously. I do see a section that's really nice and dark, which is like ideal for gym lighting. Here's what it looks like. Very, very aesthetic. That cable machine is all that we need. And then they have a cute mirror here. Yeah, it's super super simple okay so here's my little setup honestly this was really really hard to film for me just because I kept thinking about positions and kind of like where to stand so that it's the most flattering for my body which I realized I have much to work on but you can see here that I was moving my arms and kind of explaining throughout the video and walking back and forth to make sure that you can see my full range of motion um, and I was kind of going in between my phone and the actual camera filming to make sure that I get every single exercise and not missing any. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, it was really, really fun to just try to explain different ways um, of the Pilates workouts that I do in the classes and how I can translate it onto the cable machine because I know it's really important for you guys to know that as well but yeah I had so much fun the lighting was hitting and I was super sore we are done filming that was pretty fun I was feeling a little self-conscious about my body throughout the entire video but i'm trying not to think about that but yeah it was it was pretty fun to make i definitely want to do more and definitely film more pilates content for you guys because there's a ton more movements that i didn't show in the tiktok series so yeah pretty excited to extend this series and show you guys more of what i do in pilates and how i've kept and maintained my upper body to be small but this was so fun i will put the peer space person nathaniel information here this one was a self-open self-check-in type of gym but overall there's a back area over there too with another cable and squat rack and then this is another squat rack as well but i will talk to you guys later bye